Hey mini enthusiasts, how are you doing? Welcome back, hope you're well and I hope you're having a great day. Today, something a bit different. So we're gonna be going and looking at one of Mark's cars. He's got a mini pickup. It's never been on the channel before and it's up for sale. I think he sold it, but he's gonna talk you through it, go round it and just have a look at something a little bit different. So I do apologize in advance for the sound and the shaky camera work. Uh, Mark was using an old GoPro 6 and the sound on them is really not fantastic. So I've tried to clean it up the best I can. So we'll get into that video in a, video in a moment. Just a reminder quickly, the Creative Covers Classic Mini Car Cover. That was a video, a couple of videos ago. I'll stick a card or a link up here. Um, go and check that video out because all you've got to do is leave a comment down the bottom and you'll be in the draw for winning that car cover. So it's something for nothing. Why not go and give it a go? I hope you enjoyed this week's video. Have a great day. Walk around of my pickup. Um, I've, I've now sold it uh, and it's going over to the States. Um, but um, what I should have been doing uh, is sort of documenting all my cars. Uh, even though it's going. Um, so I'm just gonna, while it's up on the ramp, uh, while it's up on the ramp, I'm just gonna walk you around it, show you all the sort of arches, you know, how clean it is. Uh, then I'll get the wheels on it, drop it down, uh, and then show you around the rest of it. Um, yeah, so I'll, uh, it's a shame it's going. Um, only reason it's going is I don't use it um, when I sit in it because I'm quite tall. Uh, the seats don't go back far enough, so I kind of sit a bit cramped, um, and it's just I, I just find it uncomfortable to drive. So um, I just thought someone else might as well enjoy it. I don't enjoy it, so what's the point in keeping it? Um, what I've sold it for, I've made money on, um, so just yeah, someone else needs to enjoy it, otherwise it's just going to sit at the back of the garage, never get used, um, and it's just a waste really, so yeah, I'll show you around the arches and stuff. Right, so this is a 1982 pickup, uh, which I bought uh, back in 2014. Oh, I'm just going to get a torch. Um, I bought it as a barn find, uh, literally was dragged out of a barn uh, and then I spent loads of money having it restored. Uh, so I mean, so it's, it, the restoration was finished in 2017 and it's just really sort of sat around. Um, still clean as anything um, it's obviously just sat in this garage um, and not done anything apart from probably a thousand miles in uh, four years Once I've got it on the wheels, I'll uh, I'll show you around sort of the inside and stuff. But it was it had a few it had a whole new front end when it was restored, uh, a few repair panels here and there. Uh, obviously, an engine rebuild. But as you can see, it's still uh, immaculate. Been to Bewley, done a run down there. I can guarantee you this car is a rust free. Not 
a dribble of rust anywhere. Now, this is a car that was restored for me, not by me. Um, this was before I even had a garage big enough to restore cars. So. Um, I don't know how well you can see this. The, pro the problem with a black car is you can't really see much on it. Um, no, it's absolutely immaculate. So when I had the engine rebuilt, uh, yes, it's supposed to be black, but um, a black engine in a black car just, you know, just doesn't look not anything so I had it painted to green uh, just for a bit of contrast really um, you'll notice the uh, so it did have a new front slam panel um, but what we did the, the grill uh, what, which was on the old front end uh, was carefully cut off and then welded back on to this one because the uh, the ones you get from uh, M Machine they just uh, they're not the same uh, they're pressed in too much um, but you know unless I told you that you would never ever know um, obviously it's not as spick and spam as Keith's engine bays but um, you know it's not bad the guy in America in the States you know he seems to be overjoyed with it. Um, he's only seen it on uh, on a video call and uh, videos I've sent him. A little bit dusty. So at a full obviously respray. Now the load bed looks battered, but um, in the restoration process. I uh, decided rather than put a new load bed in it that'd be perfect. Um, you can see sort of where it had sort of rust and stuff, surface rust. Yeah, so decided, you know, a bit of patina if you like. Um, you know, it's, it's not that bad. Um, and I just think it doesn't need to be that perfect. You know, it just shows it's been used, doesn't it? So. Yeah. Obviously with um, a pickup, I wouldn't have had carpets in them, but I just had them fitted with uh, black carpet. Um, just, you know, for comfort, I suppose. So it's very difficult to see inside a black car when everything's black. But the seats were recovered, 
Uh, obviously, it was all sprayed inside, new headlining. Um, yeah, usual sort of nut and bolt restoration that you all sort of know or know that we, me and Keith, do now. Um, it's it will be a shame that it's going really. Um, you know, it's a lovely car, but it's just not for me really. If the seats went back further, or I had short legs, um, then I'd keep it, but um, when you don't enjoy a car, what's the point? As you, as you just heard, it starts on the button. It's one of the only cars I've got that I haven't even, it's been sitting here for a, probably a year. I didn't have to charge the battery, uh, just disconnected it, turned it over, or reconnected it, turned it over, and away it went. So, We named it Fury. Um, can't actually remember why we named it Fury, but um, goodbye Fury. Hopefully uh, the next person will enjoy it, get more use out of it.